first and most uh, i would like to tell you the lesson uh, uh, not only for the language learning journey but any journey right when you need to i would i would ask you one question when you need to start the journey the what thing you have to uh, be sure first suppose you are going somewhere and what thing is comes in your mind first that what you have to be think about or what you have to know about before you start your journey okay thank you very much uh, yeah thank you malindra for sharing this live i got the message i don't know how to request for all these things i what i only know is to make content and go with you rest you do yourself and help me okay so my question is here it's very important question because when we learn anything uh, together we learn something uh, to motive ourselves right so i want to ask you a question if we start a journey what we have to think about before we uh, start what you think okay for me what i think is if you are going anywhere the first thing you have to think about is where you are going what is your target and how you are going right for example if you are going to orient from uh, for example from anzus so first you decide right uh, either you will take train or you will go by bus or by taxi or you will buy something so same thing happens for the uh, language so today before i start um, the sentence making i mean the sentence formation okay i would like to show you that what we are going to do in 30 hours and after then where we will reach okay so let me see i'm seven yeah how are you i see lots of your comments that's great yeah? i love comments okay let's go uh, we will do the question answer session later okay uh, now you 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 ask me only about the uh, context okay for right now and then i will have after 15 minutes i will have another five minute session for you where we can talk about any topics okay yes sure i will upload i will upload just just give me some time i will upload everything okay just today i have uploaded uh, the hundred um, common phrases i am uploading now it's still not uploaded um, maybe after five minutes you will see or after class you will see on youtube hundred nouns that are very important and which one is masculine and which one is feminine with a slow sound okay so that is very important because uh, what i am uh, what i try to do there is to identify the nouns which you really need in daily life not like just collect hundred nouns and put not this that's why it took lots of time okay okay i i am fine let's go to the topics and i will just go on the topics okay i am not uh, um, um, focusing on other things okay first if you see the screen right i'm sure you are seeing the screen if i do like this like this don't worry okay i have three screens so some materials i have in one screen some materials in another screen some in another screen and so i have to do like this okay so let me see um, which you are looking is it's my this screen the main screen is in my left so here if you see uh, let's draw it here and if i go you see what we will do here is the first uh how i have prepared every lessons for you okay every lesson this is the lesson plan for example in lesson one we will start from introduction that already we did right so we listen to short dialogue i will uh, i will uh, say some dialogue and you will just listen it okay and then we read the script first we listen without a script i know it's very hard for beginners to understand but our objective is not let you understand it but objective is to be uh, um, used to with portuguese uh, like pronunciations and portuguese talking okay and then we look at english translation then we translate it to english and i will ask you some questions okay then we write our first sentence and then we understand the sentence pattern how this sentence created and what are the verbs nouns and like this. this we will do for the every lesson okay it's an every lesson and if we go to the next one after then we have the grammar uh, you will have the clear vision of the grammar of every lesson what you will learn grammatically okay for example in the, from the first lesson you will learn identify the subject 
verb and object okay if you you if you feel boring on grammar don't worry i will make it little bit interesting because we are not learning like every details of the grammar we are just trying to understand the very basic and the grammar what we need okay and then we for this lesson we learn about the personal pronouns okay that means you to and like this and then how the, the if you want to take if you want to be benefited from the course how i do is then we have the main 30 minute main lecture means that we will um, i will uh, tell you about these things or we can say I, I will teach you about the things right and then i will post a video on youtube and it is the five minutes of listening okay and also post in tiktok maybe okay and then it will be i will post another video that is five minutes of reading then five minutes of quiz then 10 minutes of exercise and then five minutes of bonus tips so total one hour is for one lesson okay you got it right a bit you can see here the first is 30 minutes i will teach you about what we are going to learn i will learn something then we do five minutes of listening practice and youtube is you will do your independently whenever you have the time and then you will i will have a five minutes reading that is all the readings are on the context of what we learn from this lecture right then we have the five minutes quiz okay and then 10 minutes of exercise and then five minutes of bonus tip okay and good thing is that mm, uh, from uh, from january 1st you can play the real quiz also which i am developing right now for you okay for website so you can go to website and you can play the real quiz but for now just um, um, you see on youtube okay this is what are the objectives of the class i will tell you the objectives of the class on every class okay like for example here today's objective is to understand the basic structure of simple sentences right we will understand the basic structure of portuguese uh, sentences simple sentences okay you can then uh, we will talk about the basic statements that means the, the same thing the sentence and then we do uh, we learn we express our actions okay this is our plan for every relation okay so our lesson will be on tuesday and thursday i will fix the time again because uh, m most of people are saying that it's too early they want a bit uh, maybe six seven we'll talk about it later you got it our lesson plan yeah yes or no you got the lesson plan randomly you don't need to know all the things but what we are doing okay this is great okay and these are the lessons that you will learn in 30 days classes i mean 30 classes okay the first lesson that means i learn portuguese the topic is here what i told you we will learn about the personal pronouns and something something and we do exercises same for the lesson two is about to identify the masculine and feminine now using the articles o us and like this grammatically and what you can do you can introduce yourself and you can tell about yourself after lesson two and in lesson three if the topic is he is a teacher that means you will be able to talk about others like so you will learn how to use he him his and uh, how to talk about others right how can i say that he is a good person he is a bad person or not not bad person actually he is a best person right we can say and so in lesson three means third week we will go to the is the i have a beautiful cat right the top the topic of the lesson is i have the beautiful cat that means we will learn to use the uh, uh, how to say i have this one we'll learn some adjectives some irregular verbs and like this similarly in lesson five the topic is i read books that means what we will learn here is nouns and verbs okay uh, nouns and verbs we will learn here and sentence formation bit bit complex sentences we will learn to make and we can tell about our profession and we can tell about our experience okay so in lesson six we will um, learn to say uh, how to talk about i am doing this thing i am dying it's like a continuous tenses and how can we ask the question if i need to ask the question how can i ask okay we will do the revision and in revision we will 
uh, we will just uh, uh, read back right what we learn from day one to do day five and how we can combine it to make even complex sentences and to make uh, to understand it even better so if we go to the day seven it's the i am eight year old the topic is i am eight year old right the activities are same we do 30 minutes main lecture five minutes listening five minutes reading five minutes quiz and so on okay and here we will tell uh, we will learn to use the third verb and to talk about the urgency uh, yeah yeah i i i i will up i will upload this don't worry every video you will get on youtube okay don't worry everything you will it takes a bit time but uh, you will get everything okay and so lesson eight lesson nine we will go s like step by step okay until lesson 15 we will do the step 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 okay and when we will reach to lesson number 15 then what we will do is from 15 to lesson 30 we will practice conversation when we will learn about some advanced grammar not advanced i mean intermediate bit advanced grammar now please uh, now i am uh, i do I, I will not see a comment for 10 minutes okay i am sorry uh, i will not see what you write there I off the comments because I need to concentrate on what I am going to deliver to you. Okay, so I'm sorry if you have something, but we'll talk it later. Okay, that's cool. Okay, what we will do first is if you are feeling bored, just let me know. Okay, my first, uh, my first priority is please don't bore. Okay, so let's start. One, two, three. What we say to start? Vamos comenzar. Now I am going to uh, read a sentence or read a dialogue or whatever you say. Just try to listen it as much you can. Don't uh, Don't force yourself. Uh, our objective is not let you understand the phrase, but our objective is just to be familiar with the Portuguese words. Okay? Vamos começar. Hola amigos. O meu nome é Joel. Eu tenho 10 anos de idade. Eu aprendo português. Eu ando na escola. Eu jogo futebol. Eu leio livros. Eu janto. Eu durmo a horas. This is a dialogue, okay? For example, I'm saying this. Uh, do you understand something there? <clears throat> and let me, don't worry. This is, this is say, the opposite way of learning, okay? This is very effective. This is very effective. If you, t uh, if you learn first and then do exercise, it's easy. This is, okay, um poco. That's great. Now I repeat again. Uh, listen it. Hola amigos, o meu nome é Joel, eu tenho 10 anos de idade, eu aprendo português, eu ando na escola, eu jogo futebol, eu leio livros, eu janto, eu durmo a horas. Okay, that's the sentence. Now I will ask you the question and try to answer it. Just I will ask you one question. The first question is that, uh, let me type here for you and try to answer, okay? What is the name of the person? What is the name? Don't worry if you don't understand. Joel, very good. That's the great. Okay. <laughs> How old is he? Or we can say, Que idad el tain? Dejanos. Great. That's great. So, let me say, What is he learning? Oki ek el is the uh, aprende right portuguese okay that's cool that's cool k 
okay let me now go on portuguese okay now slowly don't worry if you don't understand okay k uh if i say sports may be hard for you uh, i say so i use simple word k jogo l joga for example i'm trying to make it very uh, simple rather than very grammatical okay a uh, football a uh, very good el joga o football right okay and last as no question uh, does he sleeps early and sleep sorry sleep early he likes football and not ray actually i say that okay we will we will we will talk about it later okay money uh, does he sleep early <laughs> okay uh, whatever it is uh, it is even better than i expect you did great job and now we see the script okay it's more easy right it's th that is how you can practice in your home also yeah now cm7 you are you, you are correct now let's see the script okay and let me um, let me uh, read this script for you again don't feel sleepy okay <laughs> uh, again again and again we do it we repeat it and because this is very important for us to learn to make sentences that's the our goal is to make sentence right okay hola amigos o meu nome é joel eu tenho 10 anos de idade eu aprendo português eu ando na escola eu jogo futebol eu leio livros eu janto eu durmo a horas read just just try to read yourself you don't uh, need to read loudly i give you two minutes to read it read it okay whatever you can you have two minutes to read now you read right that's great that is how we do practice in the starting phase okay you jogo football yeah cm7 set i am sure you, you play okay now let's see it in english right after we are just going opposite side right first we in portuguese we listen we then read and then we go to the english translation now i think as most of you don't need the english translation right i hope so uh, most of you uh, don't need english translation now because you start from the portuguese so you understand it and it's easy now you remember this you remember this you don't need to if i as ask you after five days that what joel play i am sure you can say me football because now you memorize it because you didn't translate it right that's the that's that's the that's why i told you that don't translate better you read it so now yeah that's great i hope all of you if anybody has confusion you can say me okay so but whatever i have already do some some work on it so let me read in english also because i also need to improve my english okay i'm sorry to take your time for this because i know you already understand it okay anyway hello friends my name is joel i am 10 years old i learn portuguese i go to school i play football i read books I eat dinner, I sleep on time. So you answered, most of you answered all correct, except the last one, I sleep on time, right? Somebody said that no or yes, there is something confusing, okay? Because the word aorus, if you see here aorus, this is, uh, that's why it's not a translation, right? That That's why we should not translate it. Aorus means that on time, okay? Remember this word now. He sleeps on time, yeah. Aorus means on time. Aorus. So here you can see, your durmo aorus means I do something on time. I sleep on time, okay? That's great. Okay. That's great. If you understand this, that's great, okay? So how we do it? Yeah, he meant he sleeps on time, right? Yo durmo a horas. 
you what how can i say that okay can you please tell me if you say i i go on time i go to work on time or just i now just a small sentence say i go on time yo bho aoras right i eat on time yo komo aoras right that's how if you have to say now to say uh, to express yourself and uh, these uh, these phrases are very important okay for example if i say i eat on time i i can say yo komo aoras right a oras not e oras that cool you yo komo a oras yo fasho a oras yo falo a oras and most importantly for us can any of you can say me that i um reach on time yo bebo a oras that good good i reach on time because this word you may need to use lots of time how can you say that i reach on time the verb is segar i give you a hints let me add here one where are we we are here right so let me add one blank page here and so that i can write here oh, sorry i can write here segar segar is the verb okay yo segu not segar giri bhopal that's a good try because the bhop segar we say yo segu it's it's wonderful malindra thapa yo segu ahoras great great thank you giri bhopal you did great job guys yo segu ahoras call cards yeah it's great it's great you all did yo bho paratra bilar ahoras that's great also manik maga that's also absolutely brilliant okay. and let me copy it and let me paste it on the blank page okay so let's say here i i will take one sentence for example i take the easy one and what we are doing right now that is yo aprendo portuguese and i take a name o meu nome é joel okay and rest let me keep it here on side and here if you see the pattern of here you can see three words right eu aprendo and portuguese they are three different uh, words right what we call this is word right palabras you can say in portuguese palabras but today i will not focus today just listen in what we say in portuguese and in after two or three lessons then i will write in portuguese and you can uh, memorize them also okay so here o meu nome é joel right eu aprendo português that means who is learning portuguese who is learning portuguese if i ask you or quem é esta a aprender o português joel right so if we say where is my drawing tool here if we say eu that means it's joel right this is the joel first just uh, uh, this is joel we understand and what is you called in grammar what is you called in grammar can you say me what is this yo is yo is pronoun okay yo is pronoun pronouns in portuguese pronoun is portuguese yeah exactly pronoun so we have to understand this which one is noun and which noun one is pronoun right so joel is a noun right and so when we use some words to replace that name we say it pronoun okay uh, understand this and in in portuguese we say pronouns but uh, for today that's fine we just go on english and we will slowly reduce the english and we will increase the portuguese okay it's not l l means the a different thing it's not on our subject today okay so try to focus and concentrate on the subject okay that's cool l means he right so here the eu is joel so this eu we say it
if I have the text here, we say it pronouns, right? Pronouns in English and we say pronouns in Portuguese. Okay, but here is only one so we can say pronoun not the uh, not the uh, plural is the singular right so this is the pronoun right and subject yeah this is called the pronoun but here in this sentence it is a subject uh, what we say uh, do you know Mahendra what we say um, subject in Portuguese in this case in grammatically is sujeitu okay sujeitu we will we will we will we will practice it later yeah subject you can say there yeah, but that is bit difference uh, we will not discuss it more about it right now okay so if you see here this yo is pronoun and in this sentence we have three different words that creates the sentence right the first one is yo the second one is apprehend and the third one is portuguese right so to make a simple sentence we need three different words right then it is the complete sum even it is not very complete probably but because it doesn't uh, say the time but it is at least a complete word right so when i add here apprehend it tells me that i am doing something right so in three sentences the first one is subject and the word which tells us what I am doing or what I do or what is my status whatever that tells about me uh, says about some action or about myself it is the verb okay in Portuguese verbos I'm, we will um, we learn in Portuguese later okay so here is apparendo so what why I am saying you is that we have to make a sentence if we learn to make sentence then we can make lots 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 and lots of sentences okay so here yo is the subject for example and apparendo we can say the verb right and then we need the object so what I'm learning first I say yo then you see okay mr. Um, in any case yeah he but what I'm doing I don't know so to say that what I do or what I want to say you or what I want to express you we need the verb right so uh, we I add here apparendo right then it's incomplete right it's not a complete sentence still I am learning but you don't know what I am learning so I add object and I add here Portuguese the pronunciation is Portuguese, okay? In Portuguese, Portuguese. Portuguese, you can say. Or you can say Portuguese, that's fine. But that's... Uh, so, um, apparent the Portuguese. Now, it's, it's complete, right? So, here, why I am telling you that, whenever you see these types of sentences, try to identify the verb, okay? So, our, our challenge for the next class is to identify the verbs. How can you identify the verb? Okay. So, let's say, let me uh, write something here. You, you, como, what I eat? Okay, momo. I love momo, right? Yo como momo. Ah, it's good. It's a good, good rhythm, right? Yo como momo. So here, you have to identify the verb because when you want to talk with somebody, you always need to tell him or her about something. And that something normally is a verb. Okay? So here what I am focusing is no matter if grammatically is subject plus verb plus object you know it's very better or you learn it's good prang it's very good but what I mean is to identify some word that gives the accent right so here komu right I eat momo 
So that means I say yo como. So if you see any sentence here, just identify the verb and this verb has a root verb, I mean main verb, okay? For example, what is the main verb of como? Can you please tell me? What is the main verb of como? Yo como, 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 tu comes, comes, comes. But what is the main root verb of como? It's not comida, uh, not kumar, but it's almost, you are very near, very near, great, great, great. I love the attitude of Giri Bhupal. You, 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 you are great. You will learn very soon. Comida, it's not comes. Great try. It's not com. Great try. Oh, <laughs> I love it. Great try. You are very near. The main root verb. Uh, Mr. Bilal is very near. Comais, no. Okay, let me tell you. I said you that. That's how we learn, right? It's, it's nice. I enjoy it. So, here is the word komu, right? Komu. I told you, uh, I had some videos, right? There are three uh, types of verb normally. One end with AR, one end with ER, and one end with IR, and others are irregular. So, this is the ER verb. So, main root is kumer. Okay? Yeah, AR, ER, IR. So, this should be normally most of the verbs should be in these three. That means if you see something, it could be komar or komer or kumir. First, identify like this. The probability is what? Kumer. Or it can be the AR verb means uh, remove the last one and add AR. And it can be the IR verb uh, remove the last AR and put IR, right? But this is kumer. Okay. So, this is the kumer verb. So we have to know about this verb. If you know about these verbs, okay, that's a good question, Ray. How you can identify verb is normally it comes immediately after the person or the subject you are talking about, right? For example, here yo, yo is the person who is talking, right? So normally it comes immediately after that. First way to identify. Second, the word which tells the action, okay, which tells the action is a verb, right? Here, Momo doesn't tell the action, right? And Yo doesn't tell the action because Yo means me, so I am I may be subject or I may be object, but Yo, I don't do the action, so I am not a verb. So, Komu, Momo, no. So, what is remaining? Komu, right? So, normally it comes immediately after the subject with which you uh, about which you are talking about or you, you can uh, you can uh, more easy way is that the word that tells the action okay so here uh, this is the kumer verb right you akabu trabalu wa oras means here this trabalu is not a verb okay here trabalu is not a verb right here the verb is akabu and trabalo is the object okay here trabalo means work it's not the true work your akabu trabalo oras means i finish my work on time i think um uh, that's am i right dorchi am i right yeah i finish my work on time your akabu trabalo oras I finished my work on my time. Yes, yes, that's great. So here, so be careful on this. So, so thank you, Dorji. So verb means something that tells the action. Here, Trabalo doesn't tell the action. Here, Trabalo says, uh, tells about his profession or his activity or something, but not the immediate action. So, Akabo is the verb. And for Akabo, the Akabar is the uh, root verb, right? Yo, now follow English, right? So let's say, who Jogo? I don't play football. So if you don't play football, you say that you now Jogo football. 
So you learn uh, like this, right? You do oh CM7 Joga football. Okay. So let's say here the main root verb of Jogo is what is the root verb of Jogo? Jugar, right? So verb, okay. Why verb is important? Because verb is formed according to the subject. It changes its form, right? So here I say yo now jogo football is good, right? But how can I say you do not play football, right? So let's copy it and paste it, okay? If I have to say he, then how we, what I use? L, right? I say L. So if we use L, then the form of Jugari changed, right? What it changed to? L, who can say? This is the AR verb. It's very easy, right? We can say now Joga football, right? So verb is important because we change its form. So you have to identify the verb. Okay, guys. Is it clear till until here? So this is the last one for today because it's too much for you, I know. I don't want to give you more headache. Or you, if you are enjoying, you can go forward. I will go, no problem. I have time today. L Joga football. Yeah, Joga, yeah. Good, 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 good. L Joga football. L now Joga football. So we have to identify the verb. Yeah, it's, it's enough for today. Great, yeah. I, I also think so. But whatever, what uh, we discussed today, uh, if you have any questions here, you can ask me. Go, yeah, yovo falar amanna. That is, uh, that is also a way. There is another way also. Okay, but what I mean here is, if you, uh, if you are very new for very beginners. If you don't know how to use bo for right now or falar for right now and you have to talk about tomorrow that you are doing, you simply add amanya. It's the grammatically correct word, okay? Nobody can say that this is a grammatically error. It's grammatically correct to say, yo trabalho amanya. That means I will work tomorrow or I will, I am going to work tomorrow at context. Okay, guys? Yo jantu. Yo jantu means I just take a dinner. A uh, oras means on time. Okay. Yo trabalho. Yo trabalho. A uh, oras means I walk on time. Okay. That's good. Yo bo falara manna. That's wonderful. That is a bit more advanced. Yo trabalho amanya oito horas. Good. Uh, oito horas. Yeah. And in and if you want to talk about the horas in Portuguese, um, we don't have um, a.m. and p.m. normally. Okay. We talk like um hora, dois, três, quatro, cinco, seis, sete, oito, nove, dez, onze, doze, treze, quatorze, quinze, like this. We don't say five p.m. Uh, normally, you you can li you may listen, but as a whole. Okay, so here if you say yo trabalho amanya oito horas, normally if you talk about the horas, but uh, don't I, I will not talk about it because it will be very hard hard for you. Okay, so th that's fine, that's fine. We will correct it because today's our goal is just to make one sentence. Yo falo português, yo como. So you all know about this, right? But what? But uh, just uh, don't take it in your mind. Just from uh, listen from here and uh, take it out from another one. Normally, if you talk about the auras, you have to use us, okay? A S. So, uh, but I will t don't keep in your mind. To, I don't want to give you more load, okay? But it means S. Okay, that's all for today. And now we can. Uh, if you have any questions for, or if I have here something remaining for today's, and uh, let me see. Yeah, this is the what I am making a video for you for YouTube, okay? So that uh, you can uh, uh, learn. I will post it in uh, next week, 
and here I am trying to make something that you can understand it very easily about the pronouns and sentence and all okay and so I will post the reading exercises and quiz and everything on YouTube uh, next week okay so you can go and read there if you know this 2010 so it would work more me fast line. is there anything which you think that if you know this in 2000 yeah 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 one very very thing is that just look okay one very good learning tips for you guys okay uh what i listen uh, or i heard from most of the persons that are in portugal because and last um, this October like uh, last month I was in Portugal um, and my holiday and what I listened that everybody uh, told me that I am here for two years and I can't speak Portuguese I don't understand right and I met another person and he said that I am here for uh, like six months but uh, no and I asked them uh, how many hours you give to learn Portuguese right and so how long you are in Portugal doesn't mean anything right how many effort you uh, use for that learning so <laughs> sure sure jungle tiger we will we will so ask yourself that how many time how many minutes how many hours you give to Portuguese language and you will you have the answer right you will be motivated then if you say that oh i am in portugal for uh, five months six months it doesn't matter right so how many minutes you give to portuguese so i challenge you if anybody wants to challenge me i challenge everybody all of you who are right now live that if you give 15 to 20 minutes every day okay and after three months if you talk with me you will talk better than me okay just give 15 to 20 minutes okay no matter i don't mean that no matter where you give if you give it uh, you uh, allocate that time while walking or while on train or wherever yeah so just just try to read 10 to 20 minutes okay and one one good note is that uh, if you can make a diary and a pencil okay and uh, whatever comes in your mind okay whatever comes uh, obrigado Susila whatever comes in your mind just write it that diary okay if you are not very much uh, f uh, you, you are not uh, feel very comfortable with diary then in your mobile phone there is a notepad right so while walking if you have something in your mind uh, uh, write on that uh, not uh, notebook or notepad okay in mobile and then if next time if you see it you will never forget it okay